Hi, UBC. My name's Archie Mann, and you're watching the UBC Weekly Show. A UBC student who served his time won't be getting a harsher sentence in connection with the 2011 Stanley Cup riot. BC Court of Appeal turned down a request from Crown prosecutors to extend Alexander Peepree's sentence for participating in a riot and assault. Peepree served 60 days of jail time on the weekends so he could continue his political science classes and will also receive 18 months of probation. Peepree participated in the riot by punching a bystander who was trying to put out a fire. The judge cited public condemnation and remorse shown by Peepree as reasons that he's unlikely to reoffend. A 22 story high rise is set to be built in Westbrook Place. Construction is taking place as part of a longer term development strategy set in place over seven years ago. The plan hopes to see shops and services in the middle of the neighborhood and residential buildings surrounding it. The tower will be constructed in a tree lined area close to Pacific Spirit Park. It will be the tallest structure in South Campus neighborhood so far. A public consultation meeting will be held on April 10th. Two student lobby groups are competing to see who can represent student voices best in the upcoming provincial election. There are two major organizations that represent students in higher education in British Columbia, the Canadian Federation of Students and the Alliance of BC Students. The Alliance of BC Students is only two years old, but is quickly gathering popularity with their decentralized approach to lobbying government. However, the majority of both of these organizations' efforts have been directed towards promoting voter registration instead of direct action. So far, student lobbying groups haven't made a major dent in any political conversation surrounding the upcoming provincial election. And that's all for this week, folks. My name's Arshi Mann, finding out if she'll fit in this suitcase since 1918.